Hello, I'm Coretta Wilson, and welcome to the CMS Facebook Twitter edition of Insight with Superintendent Heath Morrison. Insight is a new program airing on CMS TV, covering a variety of topics and issues within Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. This social media edition allows us to continue that conversation and provide some extra insight from the CMS Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Heath Morrison. Dr. Morrison, welcome. Thank you. Now, this is my favorite part. All right. Myth busters. Myth busters. Things that I've heard about, little rumors going around that I've heard about you that we get a chance to clarify. All right. All right. You ready for the first one? The Let's first one being that I believe you invited some people, principals um, from charter schools over for some type of discussion. Right. What was that all about? You know, so it, it's been funny. There's the, there was an uh, article that ran that CMS is trying to control charter schools. And then there's that we're trying to charter everything. So it's mm -hmm. been a gauntlet. Uh, neither one is true. Uh, what we have done, as I've said uh, from the time I became superintendent, mm -hmm. I think there has to be lots of options for children. So right. in uh, Charlotte Mecklenburg area, we have a quality private schools. We're starting to see uh, charter schools. There are homeschooling. And so what I want to make sure is that we're serving the interests of all students. The reality is some students, they're going to start off in public school, go to private school, mm -hmm. go to a public mm -hmm. charter school, come back to CMS, then maybe go to private school, then come back to CMS us again. It's in our best interest to work together, private schools, public charter schools, and our uh, public education system. So uh, in December, I invited uh, all of the leaders of our charter schools in the area, our private uh, schools to come together. We talked about how we need to collaborate, do this work, uh, ways that we could work together on behalf of our community and our children. It's a great meeting. Uh, what came out of that was a commitment that we will continue to work mm -hmm. together. So mm -hmm. we have another meeting coming up uh, in, a, in a few weeks, and I'm looking forward to the partnerships that we're going to uh, have together uh, to serve our families and our children. So it's a partnership and a collaboration, speaking and yeah. learning from each other. Absolutely. Uh, ways that we can work together, things that we can learn. Uh, if there's ways that we can uh, save resources so that we can all reinvest them in, in our uh, educational systems, why would we not do that? Again, the reality is, is that mm -hmm. as parents exercise choices, they're going to start off in one area, move to another. And it's in our best interest if we're working collaboratively together because mm -hmm. that's how we can uh, better serve our children. Okay, so what exactly is a charter school? Yeah, so a lot of people think that charter schools aren't uh, public schools. They are public schools. Uh, every charter school in North Carolina is part of the public education system. Okay. Uh, they are schools that operate outside of the governance structure of the traditional school district. Uh, so there's nothing that inhibits them from working collaboratively. In my prior school district, uh, we actually sponsored eight charter schools ourselves. And okay. so, uh, but they are uh, uh, different models of schools, but they are public schools. Uh, and, and so, you know, they're a new offering in the North Carolina educational landscape. Okay. Could some people maybe be thinking that, well, he's on this charter school thing to get rid of some of the students that we don't want in CMS? <laughs> no, uh, nothing could be further from the truth. Look, you know, the part of the concept about creating public mm -hmm. charter schools uh, was to have competition. And so uh, the idea is that as we are all competing for students, uh, we're going to uh, force our game to move up. The charter schools will have to continue to up their game. And so okay. we're competing for our public education students, but that means okay. we have to uh, compete for all of our students. We, we want to have families feel like the best educational option is Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. Right. They're local neighborhood schools. We might entice them to also look at our magnet programs, our alternative education programs, our academy signature programs, mm -hmm. but make no mistake, we, want, we would like to have every student that lives in the Charlotte Mecklenburg area being educated by CMS. Okay, all right, that's one myth, but I got another. All right, let's do it. <laughs> the other one is that uh, you are anti testing. <laughs> I don't know where that one came from. I know yeah. last year there were several tests yeah. in CMS that yeah. took up a lot of time, but you've come across this anti-testing, Dr. Morrison. Yeah, so again, uh, false. Okay. Uh, what I've always said is I am for tests that are uh, uh, quality assessments of what tests are supposed to do. So mm -hmm. a great test assesses student learning. What's the standard? Where is the student mm -hmm. as measured against that standard? And then it allows us to provide acceleration or remediation for that student so that they can uh, meet and exceed standard. Mm -hmm. A great test also tells the teacher something about their quality of teaching. You know, right. I thought the students mastered it, but clearly uh, the assessment showed that they didn't, so I've got to reteach. Okay. Uh, and then also I believe a quality assessment or test also helps with professional development. It shows a teacher or a school where it needs to dive deeper in terms of building capacity. If a test can't do one or two or hopefully all three of those things, then I question why do we have that right. test. We're about ready in North Carolina to add 177 additional tests. And they cost. 
so they come with an incredible cost. Uh, I think in many of these cases, it's very hard to justify right. why we're given the test. So it takes precious time away from instruction. We don't get to truly learn what a child has learned, uh, what a, a teacher mm -hmm. has uh, learned, and how we can drive it for helping the student or helping the teacher do a better job. So I, I think it's appropriate to question why we're having so many tests. I am not anti-test. I believe in accountability. I believe right. that uh, assessment should uh, be part of a teacher's evaluation, a principal's evaluation and my evaluation. But I just want tests that make sense, that are for the right reasons, and that help us improve student learning and capacity building for our principals and teachers. We were speaking with so many tests, and a lot of those tests come at the end of the school year. The students yeah. are worn out. You get bad data, and what are you going to do with bad numbers? Again, what's the purpose for the test? What do we hope to get out of the test? And if we're giving tests for any other reason than it helps us assess how a student is learning and how to help a teacher do a better job, I question the validity and the need for the test. Okay. I will keep my ear to the ground. Please do. And continue to listen and look, look out for any more myths right. that you may need to dispel. That sounds good. Thank All you. Right. Thank you so much for your time. And be sure to watch the premiere episode of Insight with Superintendent Heath Morrison on CMS-TV. Time Warner Cable, Channel 3.